Yo, welcome back. This is 242 with another Minecraft video. Uh, today, I'm going to take a little little bit of a break from what we were doing. Um, as you can see, I've started building a bit more of a second floor out there. Uh, but today, I might just go over a little bit of automation that I have done <laughs> and that I want to do. Now, the first thing is just this over here. This is a very, very simple super circuit maker. Um, design not even really a design it's just a bunch of redstone um with an inventory scanner um one of the things i found i was having a problem with is when you have canola in here it gets full but then it uses one more bit of power from here which uses some oil which uses some canola which uses some canola so it needs to process more it processes more which then needs more power so it uses more power and you end up with this infinite loop uh where you just end up wasting canola using it to process canola now I found that you can't use the inventory, uh, the inventory on this. Uh, yeah, you, you can, but the inventory counts for that, not the liquid. Uh, so you have to use the inventory on this, which becomes the um, oil. And so this is the inventory scanner, which is part of um, well, MC multi-part, which is part of the um, super circuit maker. Uh, and all I had to do was put one of those down there on the edge uh, and run some tiny redstone, which you just use there tiny pile of redstone these are the leftover bits so some redstone circuits you need the screwdriver uh, the screwdriver is pretty easy it was just used to connect and disconnect that so you just right click on it to connect it to the edge and that just goes to the hopper and that's uh that's that's pretty much it um, and that just lets me throw all of my canola into here this won't do anything until it gets the redstone signal which will only happen when this gets down to it gets down to probably just under here uh, somewhere and then it will process enough just to let through enough liquid to get to oil to about here so we don't waste any canola anyway that is not actually the main thing that I wanted to do today the main thing I wanted to do today was to exploit a little bit of a it's not a bug it's just there's some processing you can do to get infinite coal in um, in this pack now what you can do is get these basic coal refiners and so what the coal refiner does is you can put either, uh, let's have a look, you can put lignite coal or normal coal in there and it'll refine to bituminous coal, B bituminous, bituminous coal. Um, you can't get as far as anthracite coal, but that's okay. We only, we only want normal coal anyway. Um, and we can, well, you can probably make anthracite coal out there, I don't know, but that's beside the point. Uh, what we're going to do, though, is we're going to start with normal coal and we're going to get towards uh, bituminous coal. And then we're going to turn the bituminous coal back into normal coal and repeat the cycle. And we're going to get a little bit more of these coal pellets every time we do it. Now, these things are really, really slow. So I'm going to do it with three coal refiners to start with. Um, what we're going to need, though, dirt, gravel, sand, netherrack. We're going to need three of those. Um, we've got ourselves our flint and steel. Um, I've made myself already this mechanical crafter. I may need a second one. I haven't actually tested this design yet. I'm just kind of doing it, doing it live. Um, we've got our item conduits, which again, pretty easy stuff. They're just a bunch of pulsating iron and conduit binder. Pulsating iron, very, very easy to make in uh, the smelter. Just one iron to one ender pearl, not a problem. Uh, and yeah, so the next question is where to put this? Now I've been thinking somewhere outside maybe, maybe along this wall. Uh, so anyway, what we're going to do is, yeah, let's just do it here. Why not? Now what we're aiming for is we're aiming to have these basic coal refiners probably at this level and we're going to want to have we're going to want to go down pretty far actually so there's oh, huh, one of those cool now there's a thing where you can actually do it one above so what that means is if we throw our nether rack down there and then put our item conduits along there. Now what we can do is we can go there, we can go extract, always active, always active, 
and always active. So that's going to pull the destination stuff out of there. What we can then do is light that. Now to check this, if you look in here, hmm, so it's not working. All right, so this is not going to work with that. As I said, I have not tested this, so. <laughs> so it's good to try these things though, and you'll see my thought process as I do it. So let's use hoppers instead, because it might be specific to hoppers. Yes, so it only goes through a hopper. So the flame will make it through a hopper, but not through a conduit. So you can see that flame there means it's turned on. This one on the end, no flame. This one here, flame turned on. So we can now light the one on the end, put some dirt down, and we now have a flame on all of them. Excellent. So that's now all set up, and we're going to have the stuff piping out the end here. Now what we're going to want to do with this, however, is we're going to want to put a mechanical crafter there, and this is going to accept bitumous coal and it's going to output these coal pallets and then what we're going to do is we're going to grab actually I'm going to need another one of these so we are going to need to have two of these crafters now I made some ender shards before that's what this glass cutter is for because we're going to need another mechanical crafter so a crafting table dropper and a resonating one of those which is an ender shard with four redstones have more shards we need four of those cool shards get under six we need a bunch of iron oops not that we need a trap door iron like that there's a dropper a crafting table and there's another mechanical crafter. And the other thing we're going to need is one of those and some paper. Because we're going to need these item filters. Uh, and the reason we need the item filters is for extracting the finished product out of that. So we have that there. This has an item filter. The item filter is only going to extract coal pellets. And we are going to always extract coal pellets. And then in this device here, we're going to end up with bitumous coal arriving in here. It's going to get turned into coal pellets. The coal pellets are going to get sucked out of here. We're going to take the coal pellets up. And let's put the second one of these here. And what happens if you put the coal pellets in this arrangement? It turns it back into coal, but notice it only takes eight, whereas this thing's producing 12. So we're going to get like 150% every time. Now, what we're then going to need to do is put one of these here, there, and there. This here is going to be our other whitelist, and it is only going to extract coal, which I'd already pre-configured from before. Uh, redstone signal always active for extract. And then down there is going to be insert. That one is going to be insert. And that one is going to be insert. Uh, possible functions for it. Yeah, okay, I don't really care about the channel. This is going to overload the first one a little bit, uh, but it's not going to be too much of a problem. And that's going to be insert as well. So now all we should have to do is load this up with, with coal. And we should be able to load this up with bitumus, which will start converting which will then turn this into coal, which will then start feeding coal back into there. Right, so that's doing that. It's it's not very balanced at the moment. If we had better pipes, I think we can do some sort of round robin thing. Uh, but for now, this is going to fill up the coal refiners. So if we go and grab... And grab some more bitumus. Uh, we might also get rid of the lignite... No, I'll do the link another way. Um, so if we grab 
more bitumen. So bitumen coal goes there, bitumen coal goes there. So this should produce, those are two and a bit stacks. We should produce enough to fill, well, two and a bit of these. And then what we should end up with is, is the system will get jammed eventually and we'll end up with a lot more bitumen sitting here. Actually, we'll end up with a lot more coal sitting in here. So hopefully after a while, we'll end up with way more coal in here. We can just siphon off the extra coal. The extra coal, well, I mean, we could always put a chest at the end here to siphon off the extra coal as well, um, since it's going to fill these up in order. So the 64 there already, this is now counting up. It's not the fastest, but I mean, these auto crafters are going to be way faster than these coal refiners can go anyway. So it's not a really, not really a huge deal. You can see we're already getting tons of coal pellets. Now what I might do, sleep through the night for a start. And I mean, we can make this go faster by just putting extra, um, extra coal refiners on the end uh, so they are pretty easy to make furnace iron and some stone so really not hard at all nether bricks fantastic we got nether rack we can burn into bricks not a problem um, we just need to set this up along the end here just keep banging them on the end i think i probably should have moved this across one ah, that's what we'll do for now that's cool these little a little ghost a little ghostly impression spinning on the top of what it's doing that's pretty cool all right, so we've now got rid of nearly all our bitumens from there. This is still happily making coal. That is full. That is full. This is, wow, getting full. So we are going to end up with way more coal than we need. This one is, like, as you can see, really slow. Really, really slow. <laughs> Look how much coal pellets we have. So what I'm going to do, I might just cut this quickly here. I'm actually going to go away, make another couple of coal refiners. I'll put them on the end. We'll get another couple of hoppers and we'll see what happens when we come back. Uh, so I'll see you back here in just a bit. So we're back just briefly, just because uh, this is actually, I wanted to catch this while it was working. So as you can see, it's dumped probably 40, half to three quarters of a stack of canola in there before it's processed enough to trip this up enough to stop the hopper from processing anymore. Uh, and so that's why it just gets to the end of this lot of canola. We'll gradually process that through into mostly, most of that will be full of oil, if not all of it. Um, and that's it. And then it stops until this gets all the way down, but this produces much faster than we can actually use the power. So it's not, um, not ever going to be a, be an issue. So I, <laughs> this is me in the middle of, uh, making, these things and now that I'm back I might as well stay back because we've pretty much got everything we need to put another couple of these on the end all right so we have that and that we have Lit and lit, two of those, two more of those, yep, they're on, let's put our dirt in the bottom, now, as you can see, there's 64 in there, let's go bang and bang, um, in here, we've got 42 surplus coal, that's now going to take off um, down to here, we need to go insert and insert so that 42 will drain really quickly off to here so there's the 42 we have nothing in there i found out with the lignite what we can do is we can just grab that and turn that straight into coal pellets we'll end up with an odd number of pellets but it's okay we'll end up with like one pellet left over probably in here no so five left over that's okay when we get more lignite we can just add that into here and that'll be fine um, and that'll turn that into coal. This has now got 45. So we're full everywhere. And that's got 45. And then, awesome. So that'll now just keep running. And like I said, it'll take quite a while to um, process the stuff, but with five of them running now, it shouldn't actually be too bad. And like I said, we could probably put a chest on the end to catch all of the surplus. In fact, I might just do that. 
Oh, look, we've got iron here. We might as well make an iron chest. I could even put it through on the other side, through the window. <laughs> so we just got coal inside automatically. Um, but let's put it here for now. I like that. Make that insert. Cool. And voila, that's it. That's still five. I was hoping to catch one of these finish. Which one's the closest? So we've got 45 in there. This one's going to finish. And once that finishes, that'll poke through, make 12 of these. 12 of these will go into here with plus five, make 17. 17 will make two coal. So we'll end up with that 45 being 47. Uh, well, actually, it'll be 46, and the other one will jump into here to replace the one that's um, that's gone from here. Either way, we're making more coal, um, and it's all pretty much free. There's no power, no nothing going into it. Um, it just takes a really long time. I mean, I guess you could probably stack tons and tons and tons of these and get it happening a lot faster, but, I mean, you don't need coal for too much stuff, I don't think. Um, the only thing I did want to check is when we look at the uses for coal pellets, yeah, so we can make coal, and that's it. So you can't make it back into anthracite like I thought we could. But that's okay. Making it back into coal is all we need, because the coal can then turn into bituminous, and then back into coal, and rinse and repeat. So, have I talked long enough? Ah, oh, so slow. Anyway, I think I'm going to end the episode here anyway. I know that's really close, but I'm pretty sure you guys can see what's going to happen um, once this finishes. We are going to get more and more coal out here. I mean, I'll check in the beginning of next episode um, and just let you know how this is going. It's something I've been wanting to build for a little while uh, just because coal gets used um, for a few things in the pack and it's nice to have a nice, you know, unlimited source, basically. Cool. So uh, that's all from me anyway for this time. Um, as always, thank you very much for watching and we'll see you next time.